All right, so next up we have Nissan Kotteri from Julia Computing, and he will speak about Julia Box. Thank you, Christopher. Um, so my name is Nishant Kotari. I work on I work in work, work on Julia Box and also on CI Bot. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about uh, the new development features of Julia Box, which will be soon released after JuliaCon. So if you would all go to dev.juliabox.com, you can follow along to the uh, presentation. So I'm going to log in now. So is everyone able to log in? Right, so this is a new layout for Julia Box. Uh, on the top right, if you, if you will see, there is a uh, enable GPU button. So checking this and then hitting launch will give you a GPU node. So um, right now I'm not gonna be talking about GPUs. I'm just gonna do a non-GPU talk. So I'll leave this cluster running for after the talk for a few hours, so you can all try if you want to try out GPUs. Um, so right now I'm just going to launch this. So before I launch, here's this new option. So this lets you control the number of CPUs you want to um, set for your notebook. So I have, I have a pretty high limit, but I think you guys have like six at the top, um, and this is for memory. So, uh, so I'll just set it at uh, eight and four CPU. And hit launch. Yeah, so this should take a while, and So we have all the old apps here, uh, packages and Git and Google Drive, and we have an additional app called My Apps, which I'm going to be, uh, which I will demo now. Um, so if I click on this, so. So on this notebook, uh, you'll get like, uh, so I've added four CPUs, right? So if I do something like add proc, uh, I think I'll just uh, make it bigger. So each of these processes are on a separate uh, CPU because I added four CPUs. So you can see workers if you want. Yeah, do the same thing. All right, so this is where you want uh, local CPUs on your, uh, I mean, right now it's limited, right? So if you want more CPUs, this is the way to do it. But uh, if you want even higher CPUs on different machines and distributed and connected together, so once you launch your notebook, you can go back here, and then you have this thing. So this just multiplies whatever is here by this factor. So if I say two workers, or let me say three, then I hit scale. So it says run using cluster managers and init parallel. So I'll just do that. I did, I did an ad proc, so let me just restart the kernel. Right. So 
So now if I say workers, so I have three workers now because I added three workers and each of these three workers have four CPUs. So you have like a total of 12 CPUs. So you can see they're all working if I, if I do something like, If you know, if you if you want to run something parallel, you can try it out. Some kind of computation. I, I don't have a example ready here, but um, okay. So the next feature is this thing. Uh, so you just click on that, and uh, right now it's pretty basic. You get to name your app, and you have a main file. Uh, which is right now just a web server. Let me just show that. Um, show it this way. Just a file like this. Um, so you can write your own web server. I've, I've written one in Mux. And um, I'll show you what this does. So, so you, ca you can hit deploy to start the app. I've already done that. So it's on my front page here. So if I start, it says app not deployed, hit start to deploy. App is deployed. And you get this link, a short link, which you can share with anyone. And if I click on that, it's, it's going to take some time. <coughs> right. <laughs> so the layout is a bit weird because my resolution was different. But uh, so this, this is the app that, uh, that basically I've run this. And that resulted in this app. So all it does is it, it takes some code here, sends it to the server, and just executes it. So you can imagine running your own map code here and having some kind of input and then some kind of output here. Um, so it should finish something. Um, So uh, I was just talking to some of you guys, and uh, you know, you uh, mentioned this app concept, and uh, you also mentioned that you d you wish to not write your own UI like this. So th this is quite a bit of code for you know someone to write, and you'd be interested to just focus on like the math bit. So uh, um, I mean, some uh, I mean, you mentioned that um, you'd like to have some kind of templated UI which you can use. Or uh, you know, have your have some kind of some way to get notifications once your uh, work is done, like email or Slack, and uh, have uh, some way of entering data and getting back data through uh, something like S3 and things like that. So it would be good to hear from you guys uh, what opinion you have about that. Um, so yeah. That, that's that's all for the demo. Um, so in the future, uh, yeah. So in the future, we we'd like to add, uh, as I said, templated UI, some kind of S3 import export or a Google Cloud import export, Slack email notification for when your job is done, um, and uh, database support if you want to talk to the database. Uh, authentication. We already have authentication, but you know if you want your own. Uh, if your company has your own authentication kind of thing and you want to plug that in here, so we'd like to um, support that. And maybe a Julia Box REPL, so, so that you can control Julia Box from uh, your Julia REPL and like maybe upload files, maybe do all this scaling business uh, from the REPL itself. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about the app thing and also any general new features that you may like to add. Uh, 
I'd be happy to listen to. Thank you. So questions? One question I have is about 0 0.7 and Julia Box. What's the status on that? Uh, and 1.0, uh, of course. We'll have to port the uh, package builder. I mean, that's the main bit. The rest of it is, could be simple. Mm. Okay, let's thank the speaker again.